In this video, let's talk about fillets in draft. Let's start by opening a file, fillets in draft. Now this file is a rectangular extrusion that has a shell feature in the center, and there's no draft applied to any of the edges. Now let's say we needed to fillet the inside vertical edges and the inside and bottom edges of this part. Let's go ahead and apply a fillet to the vertical edges on the inside of the part, and let's make sure that we link them to our global variable, internal radius. Once we've done that, let's apply a draft to these inside faces. We're gonna use a manual neutral plane draft, selecting the top face as our reference, and 10 degrees as our draft angle. For faces to draft, let's right click one of these internal faces and say select tangency. Now, as you can see, SOLIDWORKS has no problem creating the draft even though we have vertical fillet edges. And that's because SOLIDWORKS is able to manually blend this fillet from a large radius to a small radius on the inside. If instead we delete this feature, we apply a fillet in this bottom edge, again making sure we link to that global variable. And now we try to draft using the same neutral plane references. Right click one of these faces, select tangency, but remove our bottom face. Let's hit OK. As you can see, SOLIDWORKS gives us an error. Feature Expert is telling us that it could not construct the draft. And that's because SOLIDWORKS cannot manually modify any of these fillets in order to blend them down together. This fillet section automatically ends at a point, and this creates an issue whenever SOLIDWORKS is trying to construct the draft. So instead, if we need to create this type of geometry, we need to start with a drafted part. Let's open the file, fillets in draft two. Now this is a nearly identical part with the exception that the original boss extrude has external walls drafted at three degrees based on our part template. So now let's go ahead and apply a fillet to these internal vertical edges and the internal bottom four edges, making sure we link to our parameter, internal radius. So as you can see, SOLIDWORKS was able to create the fillet on our already drafted part without any problems. We can go into our tools and our equations manager. We can modify things such as the draft angle to make it 10 degrees to match our original part. And as you can see, it's reconstructed with a 10 degree draft with no issues to any of the fillets. Since we've created these internal fillets, this is a good time to talk about wall thickness and external fillets as well. As you remember from creating our part template file, we have both an internal and an external fillet global variable. So let's go ahead and apply some fillets to the external edges. So we're gonna grab the four vertical edges and the four bottom edges as well. Now we wanna make sure that we link to our global variable. We're gonna to link to external radius and hit okay. As you can see, the external radii are quite a bit larger. We do a section view of this. You notice that we have a consistent wall thickness. And this is the important part when we're dealing with our plastic part design. If we were instead to go back into this fillet and modify this to be something such as eight millimeters on the outside, we're gonna get a very thin section in this corner. And typically when you're dealing with curved parts or fillets, these are gonna be adding structure to your part. So there's no reason you would wanna make a thin section in this area. If instead of eight millimeters, a smaller fillet was used, we would be creating a thick section in this area. And this means that we would create a cosmetic defect on the outside. We would create a sink mark because the plastic in this area is going to cool slower than the plastic in the surrounding thinner areas. So let's go back into our feature and once again link it to that global variable, external radius. And let's take a look at modifying our equations. So under tools in our equations manager, Let's say we decided that three millimeters was too thick for this part and we wanted two millimeters. All of the equations and global variables that are based on that value have all updated. Once we click OK, our part is thinner and our fillets have all been adjusted. So you'll notice that our internal fillet is now one millimeter and our external fillet is now three. So this is a great way to play with the parts and make sure that you have a consistent wall thickness by linking to those global variables. And keep in mind, if you need to have internal fillets, you typically want to create the drafted sections first and then do the filleting later. That's also true if you take a look at the feature statistics. So if we go to our tools and feature statistics, you'll notice that the fillet 
is taking up 100% of the rebuild time. Creating the boss extrude and the shell feature didn't take up any of our time, but that fillet on the external section of our part, even though this is a very small rebuild time, 0.02 seconds, is taking up the vast majority of that rebuild. And this is true, especially when you're dealing with more complicated parts and more complicated fillets for SOLIDWORKS to construct. So keep that in mind as well. If you can fill it later on in the design process, especially with these drafted parts, it's gonna save you rebuild time.